Hey guys, welcome back to From Fat to Fit. Today we're going to be doing a pull workout focused on our back and our biceps. Three rounds, three supersets, three sets apiece. Not enough threes for you. We want to be in the 8 to 10, 8 to 12 range with our reps. Heavier weights, really focusing on muscle teardown so that we can rest and let our bodies rebuild bigger and better. So, for the first round, we will do a bent row and iso curl. Alright, so grab your weights, grab your tracking sheet, and if you need a tracking sheet, leave your email in the comments and I'll send you one. So, starting off where I finished last week, 45 pounds. I'll go from the side here, shoulder width apart, almost like you're going to be in your deadlift spot. And then we're going to put in the work. So, let's go. Elbows to your side. Really squeezing that back at the top. That's a quick way to get the sweat. All right. Next move, we're going to go to ISO curl. So last week, I stopped with the 25 pound weight. We're going to see how we do with it. So ISO curl, I'm going to use my chair for this one. Elbow inside your knee. Pick it up and curl up. Focusing on Really um, doing this nice and slow. That was four. Six. Alright, let's switch arms. And the reason we're going nice and slow is we want to increase the time under tension for our muscles. Because the more time under tension, the more that we really make that muscle work. And I know tearing is a bad thing in most things, but that's how your muscle builds. You tear it, and the body rebuilds it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. All right, great job, guys. Small little break here. Weights out for ready for your next set. And grab a drink if you need it. So we're gonna go right back in to our bent row. Alright. We'll do it facing knee all this time. So again, almost like you're going to do a deadlift, and pull straight up, elbows into your side, Whew. again you want to challenge yourself make it work while keeping your form and focusing on that keeping your core tight all right back to our bicep iso curls all right let's go
The nice thing about an ISO curl is you're able to use your other arm to help if you need to. That's 11, but really still focusing on the decline. Whew. Still putting in that work. All right, other arm. Let's go. Alright, great job guys. Going on to round three or set three. Just catch your breath a little bit. Stretch out those biceps if you need to. Some of y'all may need to take your shirt off because your sleeves are too tight. You know, whatever you need to do. But let's keep working. All right, right back into our bent row. All right, let me show you this from the back. And you'll see my back squeeze as I go up with the weight. about as close to failure as you can get when you're lifting by yourself. Alright, All right, last set on these. I'm actually going to drop. And we're going to drop to about 22.5 instead of the 25s on our ISO curl. Grab a 20 pound weight. Got six with that. Let's get 20. Take it out. It's always nice to have when you're doing ISOs to have that other weight closer. That way you can just drop straight down to the next weight. All right, let's go. one. 
Woo. All right, guys. A little bit longer break here, about 60 seconds, as we go into round two. So for round two, we are going to be doing the pullover and a regular bicep curl standing. So pullover weight. I'm going to be about. I'm going to end up maxing out my dumbbells here at 52. So the pullover. Move my chair out of the way here. You can do it from a ball, a bench, or you can do it on the floor. I'm going to do it on the floor today. Make it a little bit uh, harder on myself because I gotta get up and down, but a little bit easier on your shoulders and your muscles that support as you're doing the workout and your joints as well. Uh, I'm just setting up for my bicep curls as well. Last week I was at 30. So we'll be see where we go from there with that. But also make sure you're tracking everything else that you did. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let's go. Show you the pullover. So grab your weights and diamond grip. Straight up, elbows out, and go down and up. Really feel them lots. Oh. As you'll focus again on the decline and on the lift. And try not to let your weight touch the ground. Oh. That's four. our bicep curl. Again, we're going to start off with 30 pounds. If we need to drop, we'll drop. But that's just where we're going to start. We'll go from the side here. Elbows pinned in, core tight. Sweat running down your face like it is mine. All right. Great job, guys. That was set one. So set your weights. Get them ready for set number two. Put mine down there. Right down your weights. And grab a quick drink as we're going to go right back. Our cheerleader mellow. All right. <sighs> 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 
two more. Uh, Evan, last one. Oh, so, all right. Straight up into our curls. more set. Your biceps and your back should be on fire. But remember, you got one more set and then one more round. Let's get back on the ground. Safely grab your weights. All right. Backdoor pull over. Let's go. your last one on that round for that last bicep curl and we'll take a little break so but first you gotta earn it with the bicep curls Ten, got two more. Ah, all right, guys. Great job. Whew. Take a little break. And we're going to go into round three. So with round three, you've got your wide curls and then reverse fly. So, I am gonna be doing 15 pounds with that reverse fly, and I'm honestly probably gonna stick with 15 pounds for my wide curl as well. All right. Alright, so reverse fly, elbows slightly bent, core tight, and we're working in three, two, one. more. Oh. 
sweat dripping. So I'll drop those down for just a second. Wipe off my face. And wide curls. Elbows in. Great job. Oh. A little 30 second break. Shake it out. Whew. Catch your breath. Get a drink. If anything like me, you are drenched in sweat. Right. So, with the reverse fly, I think I'm going to go up to 17.5 this round and challenge myself a little bit. I may have to drop, but I'm gonna stick with my 15s for the wide curl. That's my biceps are burnt. All right, I'll go from the side this time. Give you guys a different angle, feet shorter apart, core tight, and let's go. Three, two, one. on the wide curl. All right, guys, great job. Sorry for the background noise and the camera didn't move. That's the only downfall when you are working out at home. for our reverse fly. All right, let's grab your weights. Let's finish up the weighted section strong and we're going in the core. All right, I'll show you this from the back. That way you can see how my back pinches together like there's a pencil back here. curls. 
three, two, one. Guys, great job. That is all with the weights. So take a little break, and you've got still some core work to do. So we're gonna do a cross crunch scissor kick. And I will grab my timer and we'll get moving. Quicker you get down there, the quicker. You can take a little more break. All right. So, cross crunch. We're gonna come up and cross. Not up and cross. You're coming up, cross. Scissor kick. Hands under your back. Lean forward, toes straight out. This is scissor kick. Legs over top of one another. All right, 30 seconds a piece, three rounds of both exercises. Sorry, three sets of both exercises. Whew, need some more oxygen. All right, you got three, two, one, cross crunch. Make sure you're going clear back down and coming back up. For your crunch. All right, great job, guys. Got ten second break here. All right, got three, two, one. Scissor kick, chest, chin to your chest, or just lay back flat. But if you can, get your chin to your chest, your legs straightened out, and just put in that work. I remember when I couldn't do this, and I had to lean back, and just nice and slow, so. Go with what you can do, because whatever you're doing is going to put in work. Great job, guys. All right. Got 11 seconds. Whoo wee All right. Got three, two, one. Cross crunch. Great job. In three, two, one. Scissors. Good job, we got 60 seconds of work left. All right, got 
three, two, one, back into the cross. so hard the dog's panting. <sighs> all right guys, 30 more seconds and we are all done. We got three, two, one, back into your scissors. guys great job well that's it for our pool workout hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for working out with me and as always god bless y'all see you on the next one